Hey guys, how's it going? Marsbox here and welcome to another video, big news video on FIFA 15 and today the piece of news that I've got for you, did that even make any sense? I don't know, are going to be huge. I should also mention as well before we get into it that yes, there will be an actual FIFA 14 video coming out. I've got an episode of Bradford City coming up. It's the last episode before we get into the January transfer window. So yes, green screen is back just like this. Now this new information that's been leaked to me has been leaked to me by a super extremely reliable source. They're a very elaborate, very sneaky, dodgy organization, and they call themselves EA Sports. Now this info that they've leaked is devastating news to us all that love to play FIFA, because Legends will not be in FIFA 15 on PlayStation 4. Now this does come after a representative of EA Sports told Eurogamer in an article, HOLY SHIT I HAVE EVIDENCE, THAT'S AMAZING! We're not talking about Foot 15 just yet, but yes, Legends will continue to be only on Xbox platforms. Now this also comes as news as PS4 will not have early access to EA titles including FIFA 15, but Xbox One will, again exclusive. Now Sony did actually come out and say that they just completely passed up on EA's offer for this early access, but you know, I wouldn't be too surprised if, you know, EA never even just offered it to Sony as part of their deal with Microsoft. And, you know, Sony's just gone and said, oh, yeah, no, we pass it up. It's just business, you know what I mean? Now for some more shocking news coming from another insanely, massively, huge inside source from within EA Sports. His name, and yes, unlike my previous source, I can actually expose this person. His name is Rob Hodgson because he announced it on Twitter. He announced that EA had actually lost the rights to the Liga do Brasil, which now means that all the teams and players from within that league won't be in FIFA 15 in any way, shape or form. So that means that there will not be any Brazilians that are in FIFA 15, apart from the ones that play in Europe, disclaimer. We were unable to reach an agreement with the Brazilian rights holders for their inclusion in FIFA 15. We were able to retain the Brazilian national team in FIFA 15, as well as the Brazilian stars that play in other top leagues around the world. So while this still means that all your favorite Brazilian players from Europe are still gonna be in the game, guys like Neymar, David Luiz, Thiago Silva, Marquinhos, Alex, Maxwell, Lucas Moura, Christ, how many Brazilians do PSG have? It does mean that some of the players that would have played for the Brazilian national team that come from the Liga do Brazil are not going to be in there, which may be interesting. But sadly, guys, yes, this does mean you won't be able to play with Fred in FIFA 15. Poor Fred. And obviously, this is devastating news if you are one of the 12 people that still make Brasil the five-star skill of Brazilian team squad builders in Ultimate Team. But hopefully, there is some good that may be able to come out of the Liga do Brazil not being in FIFA 15, and that's because... EA FIFA 15 just lost a bunch of their best five-star skillers. So hopefully that means EA Sport might be a little bit more lenient with, you know, who they actually allocate five-star skills to. But, you know, that's just fingers crossed. Otherwise, we're about to have the worst year for skillers pretty much ever. You thought it couldn't get any worse since FIFA 13 and 14 where they've just cut down on five-star skillers and introduced fucking tactical defending, which has pretty much ended skillers. But... Whatever. But that is it, guys. That is all the brand new news that I have for you. The latest breaking news on FIFA 15. And it's totally legit. Don't forget, of course, to like and subscribe and leave in the comment section down below, guys. What are you most going to miss about the Brazilian League being out of FIFA 15? If you could add any league as well into FIFA 15, what would it be and why? And for all you PS4 owners out there, are you now regretting your horrendous, horrendous decision to buy a PS4 now that, of course, Legends and Early Access won't be coming to the PlayStation? Really? Why does that keep happening? Thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, Game of the Masterbox, and peace out. Bye-bye.